Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm all dressed up because I'm gonna be doing a really fun try on haul with you guys. I have some holiday looks and then I have a bunch of stuff that I've really been needing to try on from Amazon. So I'm gonna do some of that. Oh, and I also have a few Abercrombie pieces that I picked up during the Black Friday sale. So I'll share those with you guys as well. But first I wanna thank Ana Luisa for sponsoring today's video. I honestly feel like a broken record at this point, but I love Ana Luisa. And this time of the year is the time to buy either for yourself or for gifts for the holiday. And they are currently running their Cyber Monday deal. They're extending it. So I'll put the date on the screen so that you guys know how long the sale is going on for. And I'll put all of the information down in the description bar as well. But they're doing like the more you buy, the more percentage you get off, like up to 35% off. And they just sent me three new pieces. I wanted to share those with you guys today. Ana Luisa is a sustainable jewelry brand that I just absolutely love. Their jewelry you can really live in. It's comfortable. It goes with everything. It's really easy to like layer up. And it always just makes me feel more put together. And I always say too, like, if I'm just hanging around the house or I have like a really lazy outfit on, I'll still put on my Ana Luisa jewelry and I just feel like it makes me feel more put together even when I'm just really not, to be honest. So, so one of the new items that, that they sent me are these earrings here. These are beautiful and I thought they were gonna be really weird to put in, but they're actually not. They were very comfortable to slide through my hole. I honestly couldn't even really feel it, but it's this beautiful dainty gold chain, has like a little bar on one side and then the pearl on the front. And I just think they're so nice, dainty, pretty, like such a nice touch for the holidays, especially with something that's kind of like loud and sparkly like this. I think this is a really nice subtle way to accessorize. And also these would look really cute with like a sweater or just whatever something you can really wear year round just, i love the nice dainty touch that these add and you cannot feel them i could actually sleep in these to be honest the next new piece that i received from ana luisa are these little earrings and i'm actually going to pop them in so you guys can see what they look like because i feel like it's kind of hard all right so here are the other earrings that they sent me i absolutely love these i have like every variation of their hoop their huggies all of their little like gold dainty earrings i have almost all of them i feel like at this point like any that create any type of a hoop and i do not have any that look like this i love that it almost looks like a stud but it's actually like a little tiny huggy hoop and i just think they're so cute they look vintage they're something that's timeless something that's never going to go out of style and again something that you can wear with something a little bit more loud but also a great everyday earring as well so Absolutely love those. Again, these are super comfortable. They're not heavy whatsoever. I don't find that any of my Ana Luisa earrings are actually heavy. I get that question a lot because I know people's ears are sensitive. Last piece that I got this round was this K necklace, which I have owned this before, but when we moved, it got all tangled and I just have not had the patience to untangle it. Honestly, I was like, I just want a new one because I don't think I'm ever gonna get that chain undone. So this is so beautiful and dainty. I apologize, this is not the best top to have it on with, but it is so pretty and just so sweet. And I feel like this would be such a great gift for the holidays. You could either give somebody their own initial, you could gift somebody their spouse's initial, their children's initials. So yeah, they have a bunch of like initial jewelry as well if necklaces are not your thing or not the thing of the person you are buying for if they prefer other types of jewelry they do have other like initial types of jewelry as well so like i said all of the information for ana luisa will be down below and definitely check it out asap so you do not miss the opportunity to get that 35 percent off and get some gifts for the holidays okay so now i want to jump right into this tr little try on haul portion of today's video this is going to be a vlog style video, so I'll probably like eat lunch with you guys and then I have to go shop for a haul. I have to pick a few things up at probably Target or something. Um, so I'm just going to like bring you along for my day. But like I said, I had quite a few items that I've been wanting and meaning to share with you guys. So let's start off with the cold stuff. I think what I'm going to do, oh my gosh, I've been sitting ow, on my feet and it hurt. Um, I think what I'm going to do is set up my phone camera and then also set up this camera um, and just try them on, try everything on together. So I may not be looking directly at my camera. I may be looking at my phone camera because I just have so much to try on and I need to film them both at the same time. So let's get set up for that. The first thing that I wanna share is this dress from Kohl's. So I got a few pieces from Kohl's all in the same like sequin color. I don't know if they have an extra small, but I had to belt mine because it was just 
way too big so I belted it and then like pulled this over the belt which I actually think works it looks super cute um, if you can get a belt that's like a cream taupe color or like a gold chain or silver chain belt I feel like that would work I love the balloon sleeves I love this sequin like I just think that this is so beautiful classic comfortable too like this is not itchy whatsoever I hate when sequins are itchy because then you're just miserable but these are really really comfortable and then I got this jacket which honestly I might just keep this jacket I have nothing to wear it to but I got it in a size medium apparently I'm really glad that I did because I love the way that this fits and the way that this feels I just think that this is the cutest fur jacket fur itself is like believable like it looks can you see like how it moves I'm like shaking it uh, I just love the way that it looks and feels like it's so good and then I have these little heels on from Target little booties and that is one look up I have this midi dress so it has like a little tulip crossover in the front I would not wear tights with this but I just kept them on um I don't know why I kept them on because I don't need them on for anything else but anyway I still have them on and it's that same blush kind of underlay with the silver sequin over the top this is a true wrap style dress it has a little button here for um, like extra closure or security and then this ties so you can actually loosen it or tighten it I feel like this is so pretty it's so classic and just something that's really flattering on pretty much any body type I really love this it's actually even more comfortable than the other one the other one like I said was not itchy whatsoever but this one is like has this really nice soft silky lining on the inside that just makes it extra comfortable and I also feel like this would be so stinking cute with a bump if you just kind of shimmy it up a little bit and then I'm trying to stick my belly out if you had like a little bump you could kind of adjust this I would probably wear tights with it with a bump I don't know it depends on how much your bump opens this part up maybe you would want to size up just for extra fabric but I feel like this would be so beautiful for like holiday announcement pictures or family photos or anything with a bump or without a bump <laughs> um really really cute it feels like great quality so pretty also if anybody ha I'm like over here changing if anybody has comfy tight recommendations like for tights please send them my way because I hate tights like I, I hate, despise them okay next I have these pants in a size small and I actually feel like they fit really well so I would say size up especially if you're in between sizes um, I love these I'm 5'4 and they just are perfect with heels hopefully you guys can that these would be really cute with like an oversized chunky sweater I just paired it up with this little Amazon bodysuit that I was gonna show you guys today anyway it's just like a cotton stretchy a little like mock neck bodysuit okay I am now filming with both cameras so I'm probably gonna be talking to my phone and I'll just like insert some clips All right, I wanted to try on some viral Amazon pieces that I've seen and I wanted to see honestly how good they were so this set I have seen everywhere and I can see why it's such an elevated lounge set it's super comfy I have mine in a size small it fits great it's really really cute it is a bit shorter I'm only 5'4 so if you're taller just consider that with the length but it comes in a million different colors super stretchy comfy and very elevated totally not a normal color for me but I love this set I want it in all the colors it's really comfortable the way that it fits I feel like it's super flattering not sure why these are so long um, but other than that this is a 10 out of 10 for me love it perfect travel outfit okay this severely needs to be steamed but I love it I have a dress similar to this in like a mint color and it's just so flattering it's so comfortable and I feel like this could be worn to so many different things you could kind of dress it up dress it down love the fabric this brown color is everything love this okay this oversized sweater is super cute again it really needs to be steamed but it's actually really really soft it's so stretchy something you could wear I would probably wear this with tights and a little belt I am not spray tanned right now and I'm like I could not be making a bigger effort to hide my legs but yeah, I think this is really, really comfy, cute, and I also got it in cream. This is the cream color. I like this one almost more because you can see the texture and kind of like those inside out sewn seams, which I really like, and I think it makes it look so much more expensive. Highly recommend this one. I am a little shook over this one, you guys. This neckline, 
is stunning. I purposely like left my hair tucked in because one, I really love this look, but also just so you guys could see the neckline of this and like the draping. I think this is so beautiful. You definitely could add a belt to this one if you wanted to, but I don't think you need to at all. It's so flattering and beautiful and I love this color. This is like the perfect holiday dress. Again, something you can kind of dress up, dress down. So comfortable, feels like a night dress. Highly recommend. So I just quickly wanted to share these. So cute, this little like matching lounge set. It's in like this nice ribbed material, stretchy waistband, pockets, little pleats, very flattering, comfy. So these I thought were the same, but they actually don't have pockets. I'm hoping when I wash this set that they shrink up a little bit here because it is a little bit long. Anyway, really, really comfy. Comfy, comfy, comfy. All right, another viral sweater that I have seen is this one. It's so cute. It's more of like a tunic style. I actually think this would look really cute with leggings and maybe even like a belt or something, but I love this. It's super soft, comfy, asymmetrical hem. Love the little slit on the side. Has a true turtleneck, which turtle, turtleneck, that makes it super cozy. I love this brown color, but it came in multiple colors. Definitely can see why this one is viral last but certainly not least i have this cozy little number i've seen this all over instagram and i just cannot resist the texture i did have one of you guys message me and say once you washed it it like ruined it so i'm a little nervous to wash mine i don't know that's the only feedback i've gotten on it but maybe i'll just try to avoid washing it like for a long time um because it is heavenly like otherwise it's 10 out of 10 i got mine in a size medium so it was oversized you could do a little front tuck bra tuck heavenly from amazon i got another pair of the 90 straight curve love jeans i got these in the regular length size 25 they fit perfectly like i love them and i don't think i'm going to cut the length of these i usually cut them ankle length but i already have this exact pair exact size exact wash and i cut the ankles so i'm going to leave these so i can wear them with like different shoes absolutely love and then i got this top in two colors i got it in the cream and i also got it in the black it is so comfy and like lightweight, perfect layering piece. And I like that it's just a little bit different. I love this sheer element. I think this would look so gorgeous with some layered up gold on a Luisa jewelry. Just so pretty. I have a new coin necklace that I think would be beautiful with this and it fits really well. It's not a bodysuit, so I tucked it in, but it's so thin that it was like easy to tuck in. I'm definitely keeping both of these pieces, but I'm going to wear these while I try on some Amazon cardigans. All right, I got a bunch of viral cardigans from Amazon, so let's try them on and see if they are worth the hype. All right, so this first one is more of like a dry knit versus like something fuzzy, which I kind of like some of the times. Like I don't always want something plush and fuzzy. My first impressions are I love the weight of it. Like the weight of it is perfect. I love the color. I really love the oversized sleeves little pockets in the front. It's got buttons down the side. I like this little collar detail going on at the top. Honestly, I think this is super cute. So this next one is a bit like softier and a little softier. It's a little softer and gooier if that makes any sense to anybody. This is more of like a mauve taupe shade, whereas the other one's like kind of a warmer peachier nude. But this is really cute. Good basic cardigan. I definitely think you could really go oversized with this and it would be really cute. Good, good basic. And I love the texture of this one. A long cardigan is a must have for me. And I love that this one has these little slits in the side. Yes, this cardigan is everything. So I love that it kind of is like I don't know, it looks like a trench, almost looks like a jacket, but I love these little slits in the side. Makes it really nice with leggings. It hits right above my knee and I'm 5'4". It's super soft, stretchy, comfy, and a little bit of a heavier weight cardigan and lays so nicely. I think this is so beautiful. All right, this one's similar to the one that I just had on, but it does not have the slits in the side and it has a hood. So this is also really, really cute. I could see this paired with leggings and sneakers for like a super kind of laid back sporty look, but it also looks cute with jeans, basic top and heels. Lots of different ways to style this. Great quality, good weight, stretchy, comfy. Another good one. 
All right, I picked up a few things from Abercrombie during the Black Friday sale. Picked up this trench that I've been wanting. I got it in gray and then I ended up returning it because I thought I wanted this color and I waited for the Black Friday sale to pick it up and I'm just obsessed. Got it in my true size. I think it's so beautiful and really easy to style. All right, here is that same top in black. This one's in an extra small and I almost feel like this one fits better. I don't know, it kind of depends on how you want it to fit, but it's super soft, stretchy, and again, I love that sheer element. I think this would look so pretty with like some layered up gold necklaces, um, and it's really, really comfy. Little close up on these tops for you guys. I love this. All right, I then picked up the same jeans in a different wash with some rips. I don't have any that are like this, and I thought these would be nice for more like casual wear. Super cute. So flattering. I love the bum on Abercrombie jeans, just so good. And then one of my staples from Abercrombie are their sweatshirts. I love their sweatshirts so much. I got this one in a size small. I actually think I'm gonna return it for a medium because I want it like even more oversized, but these are so plush and yummy on the inside. I don't know if you guys can see that, but they are just heavenly. I feel like this is so cute. I love the back and just like a cute, cash, comfy vibe. And last but certainly not least, I got this little lounge set. Abercrombie lounge sets are everything, and this one has to be my favorite I have ever ordered. So unbelievably comfortable. It's a 15 out of 10. I like rolling my top so that it's like kind of cropped, but it's also just really cute, like whatever you want. But the fabric is dreamy. The pants are heavenly. They're so flattering. And I love Abercrombie's Heathered Grey. It's like literally my favorite, but came in a couple different colors and I honestly, I need them all. One thing I almost forgot to share was this vest because I've actually been wearing it. So it wasn't um, in the closet where like with the rest of the stuff, but I have that oversized sweater on that I shared a little bit ago, again, from Amazon. And then this vest, you guys, I love. It's the perfect oversized black vest. Like I said, I've been wearing this a ton. Oh, I wanted to show you guys my merch that I just launched. I did another version of Shit Show and then I did new colorways in the Wish You Were Here. So this was a design that I came out with when Kyle was away on deployment and it says Wish You Were Here on the back. Super cute with just like a little butterfly on the front. The idea around this was really for anybody who is missing somebody, whether you've lost somebody or you're missing somebody currently because they're away, they're military or, or whatever it may be. I just felt like this was very relatable and something that is very relevant and um, near and dear to my heart. So a great gift for the holidays. Again, if somebody is a military spouse or family member, this would be a great gift. Also, if somebody has lost someone this year, I just feel like this would be a really thoughtful gift to give to them. So it comes in three colors. So it comes in this light shade. It also comes in this shade here. So this is the shit show sweatshirt, but same exact color. It comes in this like sandstorm color. And it also comes in the wash charcoal which is called black but um yeah it's definitely like a washed charcoal the fabric of these you guys is a million times better than my last launch the inside of these are so nice and comfy it's like your favorite sweatshirt that you've worn a million times i love like the washed look they're so soft the fit is there the way that they hang is so good they are unisex size so i would say go with your true size unless you want it really oversized then size up. Yeah, these come in the crew neck and the hoodies and in those three colors that I just shared. And then for Shit Show, I came out with those three colors as well. And then this super simple, simple Shit Show graphic. It's like not even a graphic. Literally just says Shit Show with a period. Uh, but it comes in this color with the crew, this color in the hoodie. I love these. This is the Sandstorm color. I love this color so much. The hoodie version and then the gray also comes in the crew neck and the hoodie so i wanted to mention those because those just launched i think it was like last no it's over a week ago now right now let's go make some lunch and sit down and do some computer work because i just feel like i need to get like reacclimate reacclimated with my work stuff i am so hungry right now so I'm gonna warm up this ginormous, it's like as big as my head, bowl of soup. This is homemade turkey soup. So my mom makes turkey, <laughs> my voice just cracked. My mom has made turkey soup my whole life. Like growing up after Thanksgiving, she makes a turkey soup. She throws every leftover pretty much, like literally. 
um, in the crock pot the next day and just like cooks it all day and then throws in pasta about 30 minutes before you eat it. Turn off the crock pot, let the pasta like cook because it's obviously super hot and it makes the best homemade turkey soups. So she saves some of like the broth from making the turkey on Thanksgiving. Obviously the turkey from Thanksgiving, she shreds that up and puts that in there. Um, carrots, peas, green beans. Um, sometimes she even puts like a couple scoops of stuffing in it. She put a couple scoops of mashed potato in it this time and some squash. She put the rest of the squash in there. Just heaven in a bowl. So I cannot wait to eat this because it is the last serving that we have. So I'm gonna warm this up and enjoy while I get some work done. I also wanted to mention what I'm drinking. I get these from Thrive. This is my favorite flavor. We also get the lemon ones, but this one I think is just the best. And they're really, really good. They're much better for you than some of the alternative drink mixes. Yeah, better ingredients in them. And it's just like a good pick me up in the middle of the day. I'll just put it in my 40 ounce Stanley, mix it up. Mm. That flavor is so good. I'm literally running out the door. This is the look. I have that sweater on. These shoes are so squeaky. My tights, um, combat boots from Walmart. And then this oversized leather jacket from Target, which I love. And my seat band bag that I just got and I'm completely obsessed with. All right, skincare and then bed. We just started the newer episodes of, what was the show we're watching, honey? Uh, either Love Island or Temptation. Love Island, it's Love Island. We love those, like, call them stupid shows. <laughs> They're just good to like, not think about anything else, you know? So, <clears throat> first I'm using the La Roche Posay, what is this? Lip Car Wash Gentle Foaming. I use that to get like my makeup off and stuff. And then I go in with my Zio skincare, which is really like where it's at. I love uh, my La Roche Posay product, but as far as like changing my skin completely, granted, La Roche Posay would probably be my favorite affordable skincare brand. The Zio and um, the other one I used, what's it called? Skin Science, Skin Better Science. Not affordable, absolutely not affordable. <laughs> I don't care who you are, that is, cannot be affordable. But a little bit goes a long way, like a little, you can get a lot of use out of the products. And when your skin looks like completely, completely different, it's hard to not justify the price. All right, then going in with the ZO Exfoliating Cleanser. Holy grail right here. I just ordered some of those wristbands and like a new headband from Amazon because I hate when the water drips down my arms. It drives me nuts. And I thought I had come up with the best invention ever. I was like, oh my gosh, you know those sweatbands that people used to wear like playing basketball or whatever? I was like, I should make those for washing your face. And then I found out they already made them. I see a huge difference with these products when I like really take the time to work them into my skin versus just like throwing it on and like quickly rubbing around and rinsing. I notice a huge difference when I really work it into the skin, whether it be a lotion or serum or the cleanser, huge difference. I've never been like a makeup wipe girl. I don't know, I just don't like taking a cloth and like wiping my face. I don't even really like wiping across my lashes, which I do a little bit with a cotton round, but yeah, I don't like like dragging stuff over my eyes and my lashes to get makeup off. I'd rather just double cleanse. I always go in with either like an oil cleanser to start to break up all the makeup or like a creamy gentle cleanser. Usually the gentle ones are like more of like a creamy consistency. Then go in with my ZO Skin Health Complexion Renewal Pads. These are another holy grail. These like, I don't know how to explain it you guys. 
can actually cut them in half because they're so like filled with product. I usually cut them in half to save on the pads. I don't know why I'm such a slow talker right now because normally I'm a fast talker and apparently I can't multitask. <laughs> I can't get my words out. All right, something that has really changed my skin is this Skin Better Science Maestro Active Balance Serum. So what this does is it helps all the cells, I, I think, I think I understand this, helps all the cells in your skin communicate and it does pretty much whatever your skin needs. So for me, it really evens out my skin tone and I swear like my skin looks completely different since I started using this and I get all of my products from the Cosmetic Enhancement Center in Portland, Maine, which is where I get my Botox done. Um, and they had before and after pictures of people's skin. I think it was under like a black light or some type of like a light so you could see. And then it showed after they had used this for a couple weeks and the results were out of this world. Absolutely insane. I was like done, done, done. Absolutely threw it in the bag. So I've been using it ever since and it's done wonders for my skin. Next, I use the Daily Power Defense and I mix it in with my Retinol Skin Brightener. These are both by Zio Skin. So I don't know if I'm supposed to mix these, but I just started mixing them for some reason. I just like the texture of them mixed together. It makes them easier to spread around because otherwise the retinol is kind of like thicker. And again, just like really kind of working it in and then of course rub the rest of the products on your hands because one the products are expensive and two your hands age very fast um like this the quickest i guess so use your face use the remainder of your face products on your hands okay and then lastly i have been using the hydrating cream this isn't necessarily like a holy grail must have product like the other ones but i will say when i get really weird texture I notice that my skin, like when I get really, really, really dry, I start to get really weird texture, bumps all over my forehead, all over my chin. It's weird, it turns into texture rather than like my skin actually looking dry. So I find that I either need to slug, which when I slug, it completely goes away the next day, or I can just use a small little like drop of this and it seems to take care of it in like a day and a half or two days. So it's just like that extra moisture. So this isn't something that I use every single night. It's just like kind of when I really need it. And then I'm taking this little guy that I got at Target and I'm gonna do like a quick, just like drainage massage that I've kind of been doing. I watched like a YouTube video and it's kind of weird, but it feels nice. And don't follow my lead because I'm like learning with this. Then I take my Grande Lash MD and just do that on my lash line. That is it for my skincare. Now I'm gonna brush my teeth. I usually floss too, but I, uh, we've been out of flossers and I keep forgetting. Like I've been to the store a million times and I keep forgetting. So tomorrow, hopefully I can get my together and um, actually pick up a few things we need. And then lastly, I go in with my Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm in Sweet Mint. I love a minty lip gloss. This is so nice before bed. Great stocking stuffer right here. Could not recommend this more. It's like the freshest, like subtle, sweet mint smell and it just leaves like a slight cooling feeling on your lips. So it feels really nice. It's nourishing. It does not leave my lips like dry um, or irritated. It leaves them moisturized and yummy. So. Showing a little nipple. I look pink. All right, guys, get ready to watch us sleep tonight. <laughs> that is so creepy. You freaking weirdo. What time is it? Wow. Yeah, I know. He says I, I get ready for a prom every night for bed. For everything. <sighs> Sometimes it takes me lo longer to get ready for bed than it does to like get out the door. Yikes! Feel this toenail. Feel how sharp this is. Give Maybe. me your finger. I thought you brought it up Well, here. My, my feet are down here. <laughs> I thought you brought it up. <laughs> Feel this thing. Feel the corner of that. I, I can do it myself. No, you need to. I can. That's very sharp. I feel like you're trying to hurt me. It's going to get you tonight. <laughs> Would you say I'm trying to hurt you? Yes, you are. Like when you say something to I'm smell something to bad. Smell my toes. No, 
Like when you say like, oh my God, this stinks, smell it. Yeah, when you smell something bad, do you want to make somebody else <laughs> smell it? Or like when you taste something bad, you want somebody else to experience it too? That's you all day. I think that's most people. I don't think so. You don't think you do that? I don't do that. Dangerous area over there. I just rolled my ankle. You go do it. <laughs> go try it out. <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. I think it's normal. I think, I think I'm more normal than you are. Near normal. Oh, if I keep turning towards you at this time of night, I think I'm going to drool on your face. If you're in a danger zone. <laughs> Why are you drooling just when you turn to one side? <clears throat> no, I'm just saying you're like lower than me and I keep turning to talk to you and then I'm like... Why does that make you drool? Because you're so handsome. That's better. Because I drool all the... You tell me I drool all the time. You do. Right. Well, when you sleep and when you're awake, actually, you drool. That's what I mean. That, you tell me I drool. Is this not... No, I, I like knock my oh. glasses with it. These help me see. <laughs> thanks for, you know, thanks for coming along with my journey today. Hope to see you another time. Thank you to Ana Luisa for sponsoring today's video. Let's make this look like your hair. Totally, dude. We've done yeah. this before. I know. Well, it happens a lot. Let me help you. you look like, don't no, you, this looks don't like you, LED. Don't you girls just hate it? When your hair just gets in there and you just sometimes you just wake up and you're like, my hair is just not doing what I want it to do today. I mean, like, look at dirty. Oh my, oh my God, look at this thing. Like, what are we doing today? <laughs> this new Aunt Louise <laughs> earring I have. Guys, I can't. <laughs> Guys, I can't even. Oh, they're sold out. <laughs> I'm dead. Oh. oh, they're sold out. It's the story of my life. Thank you guys for watching. Love you so much. See you <laughs> in the next video. Oh.